Ladies and gentlemen, online viewers worldwide, welcome to the 2020 Tang Prize Laureate Lecture in Biopharmaceutical Science. 2020 was a year marked by unprecedented challenges brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. While the pandemic has put most things on hold, our endeavors in gathering the Tang Prize laureates in biopharmaceutical science to highlight the importance of groundbreaking research and innovation in biopharmaceutical science have not been reduced. Now, please join me to welcome Dr. Zhang Wenchang, Chair of the Tang Prize Selection Committee for Biopharmaceutical Science to introduce the 2020 Tang Prize Laureate. Dr. Zhang, please. It's my great honor to introduce the three laureates of the 2020 Tang Prize in Biopharmaceutical Science to you for their contribution to the development of cytokine targeting biological therapies for the treatment of inflammatory diseases. Doctors Charles Dinarello, Mark Feldman, and Tatamizu Kishimoto. The third laureate, Dr. Tatamizu Kishimoto, received his medical degree at Osaka University. And now he is a professor at the same university. He is a pioneer in cloning IL-6 and its receptor. He also developed an inhibitor antibody, Actemra, against the receptors. Taking basic research and translating it into clinical practice, Actemra has been approved in the treatment of several immune disorders, including rheumatoid arthritis. This drug was also approved for the treatment of CAR T cell induced cytokine release syndrome. In June of this year, the US FDA issued an EUA for Actemra for treatment of hospitalized COVID-19 patients. The contributions of Dr. Kishimoto include basic discovery, drug discovery, and clinical translation. Let us welcome Dr. Kishimoto. Thank you very much for your uh, introduction. Uh, a title of my awarding speech is Interleukin 6, From Arthritis to CAR T and the COVID-19. It is indeed my great honor that the very prestigious Tang Prize is given to my life work on interleukin-6. We discovered IL-6 almost half a century ago as one of molecules inducing antibody production. However, at present, most of people know that this molecule plays important roles for various autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, and now an unexpected result is IL-6 may be involved in cytokine storm induced by COVID-19. In this lecture, I will present my life work on IL-6 extending for almost half a century from its discovery to very decent IL-6 induced cytokine storm. <clears throat> in 1960s, the presence of T cell and B cells were discovered in immune system. B cell produce antibody, but the presence of T cell is required. So I speculated that T cell produce certain molecules which stimulate B cells uh, to antibody producing cells. <clears throat> And this molecule was finally isolated and cDNA was cloned. And it was called interleukin-6. And after cloning of IL-6, 
using cDNA uh, recombinant molecules and the antibodies, uh, result shows that this molecule is, is very uh, pryotropic uh, molecules. <clears throat> this slide shows that the transgenic mice with IL-6 cDNA. You can see that the tremendous growth of B cells. You can see that the growth of spleen uh, and uh, lymph node. If we make uh, IL-6 deficient mice, then when we uh, infect anti-vesicular uh, 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 stomatitis virus, then I, uh, antiviral response is very much decreased. Uh, same as in, in inflammation. If we uh, inject turpentine oil, then that the inflammation occurs. But uh, in the absence of IL-6, inflammation is much decreased. So that IL-6 shows both responsible for both IL-6 uh, antibody production as, as well as inflammation induction. So many studies has been done uh, with IL-6 and it has shown that <clears throat> IL-6 act on B cells and produce antibody production. It also acts on T cells and induce differentiation on TH17 cells. And it acts on liver cells and induce hepatocytostimulating factor and induce C-reactive protein, fibrinogen, uh, serum amyloid protein, heptidin, and in, reduce albumin. It acts on bone marrow uh, and uh, induce myocardiocyte differentiation and induce an increase of platelet. It acts on the synovial fibroblast and uh, induce rank ligon and the differentiation of uh, osteoclast and uh, involved in bone absorption. It is a potent growth factor for myeloma uh, plasma cytoma cells. So, and many other uh, results in liver cells and uh, skin cells, such kind of uh, result. I should show that a very wide uh, cryotropic function. The main question is why IL-6 can show such a wide variety of function. We, we isolate receptor molecules against IL-6, and we isolated 80 kilodalton IL-6 receptor. And <clears throat> this, interestingly, this molecule does not have a long uh, intracytoplasmic portion, does not have signal transducing molecules. <clears throat> Uh, and we found that uh, bind of IL-6 with IL-6 receptor induce another signaling molecule, GP, we call GP-130, which we also isolated. And IL-6, IL-6 interaction induce a dimerization of GP-130. <coughs> uh, and signals can be transduced through GP-130. And, uh, uh, this signaling is uh, called classic signaling. And another is that soluble IL-6 receptor is present in the serum. And the IL-6, soluble IL-6 receptor complex bind with GP-130 and induce dimerization and induce signal transduction. And the GP-130 express every place, every cell, so that the IL-6 can show that the wide variety of biological function. And uh, <clears throat> IL-6, IL-6 receptor binding induce the dimerization of GP-130. And the uh, in dimerization of GP-130 induce jack tyrosine kinase activation and, <clears throat> and, and then followed by STAT-3 activation. And the STAT-3 uh, moved into nuclei and they induce various gene expression. So we elucidated uh, everything from IL-6, IL-6 receptor 
GP130 and signaling molecule transcription factor STAT3, and everything was discovered by our groups. <clears throat> Then we discovered overproduction of IL-6 uh, uh, as involved in various diseases. <clears throat> Such as cardiac myxoma, Castleman disease, rheumatoid arthritis, systemic onset of juvenile idiopathic arthritis, various autoimmune inflammatory disease, such as Stilus disease, progressive sclerosis, reactive arthritis, polymyalgia rheumatica, aortitis, giant cell arteritis, neuromyelitis optica. So in order to treat these uh, inflammatory disease induced by overproduction of IL-6, we try to block the IL-6 signals. So we prepared antibody against 80 kilodalton IL-6 receptor. Then that IL-6 receptor can block IL-6 receptor and uh, IL-6 binding. Also, uh, antibody neutralize soluble IL-6 receptor and they inhibit trans signaling. So all signal, IL-6 signaling uh, are blocked <clears throat> and try to treat the patient. And this uh, anti-IL-6 receptor antibody humanized is, and now it called uh, Actemura, or a generic name, Toshirizuma. And, and it was widely used all, all over the world more than 100 countries. First case is uh, this molecule, this antibody is applied to the treatment of Castleman disease. And uh, uh, multi this patient shows that the multiple lymph node setting and high fever every day. And we treat with anti irish receptor antibody, Actemura. And then fever went down and C-reactive protein went down to zero. And <clears throat> uh, anemia recovered. This, this shows the uh, <clears throat> C-reactive protein went down to zero and the serum amyloid protein went down. Hemoglobin went, went up, albumin went up and the IgG went down and the cholesterol went up. And the multiple lymph node swelling disappeared. So that the completely uh, <coughs> recovered from the, this is first case. And the next case is juvenile idiopathic arthritis. This patient is six years boy, suffered from high fever every day, and joint pain, swelling, and the skin rash, hepatosplenomegaly, <coughs> and his height uh, did not increase at all. And tre after treatment, 18 months after treatment, all symptoms disappeared, and he enjoyed swimming in, uh, in sea and his height increased 18 centimeter in 18 months. And this picture was taken uh, when he was high school student and the, he, he was completely uh, healthy and his height is high. And the large scale of uh, clinical trial international trials has been done and very good result and published in New England Journal of Medicine. And at that time, editorial board said a new era in the treatment of systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis. Next case is very common disease. <coughs> uh, 
uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Synovial tissues of joint produce constitutive production of large amount of IL-6. And the, in the experiment in mice, we induced collagen-induced arthritis. And the, you can see that the very strong inflammation in joint, massive inflammation of inflammatory cells and destroy the uh, uh, cartilage and the joint is completely destroyed. And uh, here B, picture B, in completely normal. Same uh, experimental procedure, drug induced arthritis, but no, no joint inflammation. What the difference A and B? B is IL-6 uh, gene deficient mice. So this result, clearly show that IL-6 is essential in the induction of uh, collagen-induced arthritis. <clears throat> so we applied for this antibody for the treatment of uh, rheumatoid patient. As you can see, morning stiffness, pain, and uh, swelling disappeared, and c reactive 2 protein and fibrinogen went down. And uh, large scale of phase three trial, clinical trial, has been done in all over the uh, world, 40 country, 4,000 people. This result is a Japanese clinical trial uh, completed in 2005. You can see Asia, American College Rheumatology, 20% improvement, 50% improvement, 70% improvement. Uh, very significant improvement compared to the DMAD, control DMAD. <clears throat> and you can, you can see uh, bone absorption and the joint destruction is prevented. Uh, control uh, patient treated with DMAD uh, trials, bone absorption and joint destruction, you can see. So that uh, treatment is uh, <clears throat> anti r 6 receptor antibody can prevent that uh, uh, joint destruction. If you culture uh, peripheral blood mononuclear cells with uh, synovial tissues, then that uh, you can you can induce uh, osteoclastic uh, uh, ligand. Uh, red colors, but in the presence of Actimra, uh, anti IL-6 receptor antibody, this uh, <coughs> induction is inhibited. And long cultures, uh, normal cultures, you can see that the induction of osteoclast, large, large nuclear osteoclast, but in the presence of antibodies, no osteoclast formation, so no bone absorption. So all results show the blockade of IL-6 signaling, effective for treatment of RA group of autoimmune disease. Then the question is, how is IL-6 production regulated? Why overproduction occurs in the chronic inflammatory diseases? Then we found two molecules arid 5 a and Ligunes. And both two molecules bind to three dash and translated regions of IL-6 messenger RNA. And uh, Ligunes bind to the stem loop of uh, untranslated regions and uh, degradate the IL-6 messenger RNA. So inhibit IL-6 production. But arid 5 a compete with Lignes and also bind to stem loop. And uh, <coughs> it uh, stabilizes IL-6 messenger RNA. So induce overproduction of IL-6. So arid, if when arid 5 a bind to IL-6 messenger RNA, three dash UTR, untranslated lesions, then uh, 
IR-6 message is stabilized and overproduction of IR-6 and stimulate IR-6 receptor. And again, ARID-5 ARID production and uh, overproduction. This positive circles induce overproduction of IR-6. <clears throat> As shown in this slide, if you give the uh, endotoxin uh, lipopolysaccharide into mice, then all mice die for days. <clears throat> in, in, so, so the LPS induced septic shock. But anti TNF antibody did not show any effect, no prevention. But anti IL 6 receptor antibody, Actemra, could inhibit. Uh, induction of septic uh, uh, shock. So not only chronic inflammation, but uh, acute septic shock also uh, inhibited by the inhibition of IL-6 signals. And ARID 5 a complete knockout, completely inhibit, prevent septic shock induction. So without IL-6, no septic uh, shock, no cytokine release syndrome in mice. And this is not only in mice, also in humans. IL-6 inhibit cytokine storm, cytokine release syndrome. This is the first case 2012, uh, chronic uh, CAR T cell therapy. She, six, this six years girl suffered from B cell leukemia. And Professor Carl June group applied at the CAR T cell therapy. This is the first case. And CAR T cell therapy, as you know, that the T cells are chimerized with antibody binding site, antigen binding site, so that the T cells attack, recognize tumor cells and attack tumor cells and activate T cells, uh, proliferate, and release large amount of gamma interferon or, uh, and activate macrophages. Macrophage produce large amount of IL-6, and then patient shows cytokine storm or <coughs> high fever, uh, blood pressure went down, such kind of things. But anti-IL-6 receptor monoclonal antibody could rescue this uh, CAR T cell therapy induce cytokine storm. This is what the New York Times uh, shows 2012. This is the first case. Her level of one of the cytokines, uh, interleukin 6, or inter had shot up thousandfold. So that the very much increase of uh, IL-6. So they treat, they try to treat patient with anti-IL-6 receptor antibody. And doctor said the uh, response was amazing. Within several hours, uh, shock recovered and the fever went down. And then IL-6 went down, CDF2 protein went down. Or, uh, abnormal situation recovered, and uh, she completely recovered from the uh, septic shock, uh, cytokine release syndrome. And since then, many CAR T cell therapy was done together with, uh, after uh, side effect was uh, recovered by the treatment of toxicizuma. <clears throat> and we uh, measured cytokine profile of various cytokine uh, syndrome patient, such as Zephsis or ARDS, acute respiratory disease syndrome, or burns. And in all cases, and almost 100 cases, IL-6, IL-8, MCP-1 increase, very much increase in, in Zephsis, ARDS, and the bonds. And the, interestingly, 
plasminogen activator inhibitor also increase in sepsis, ARDS, and burns. And 2020, in Wuhan, COVID-19 patient, Come, comes out, and these patient, uh, severe COVID-19 patient, shows the high level of IL-6 production and cytokine release syndrome and pneumonia. And so they treat with tocilizumab. And all, almost all patient rescued, recovered. <clears throat> Since then, many clinical trial, large-scale clinical trial has been done, and 2,000 of cases, uh, significant uh, <clears throat> result, significant uh, beneficial effect has been uh, observed by treatment with uh, tashizumab. And rescue, decrease of death rate, and uh, of hospital state days. And this is a uh, recovery test, fund right, uh, preliminary result of fund, uh, five randomized controlled open level platform trials and significant uh, <clears throat> reduce of this and uh, significant beneficial effect together with the examination. And since then, that uh, many clinical trials have been done, and the patient treated with uh, Actemra, anti IL 6 receptor antibody, and dexamethasone, and uh, rescue the uh, severe uh, uh, COVID 19 patient. So, FDA authorized Actemra as COVID 19 drug. <clears throat> In the very early stages, we also tried, this is not so many patients, but still IL-6 increase and IL-8 increase, MCP-1 increase. And on all patients, plasminogen activator inhibitor increase. And we tried with anti-IL-6 receptor antibody. Before treatment, IL-6 high rate, MCP-1, IL-10, and the plasminogen activator inhibitor at the increase. And after treatment, C-react protein went down to zero. Uh, and IL-6 is anti-IL-6 receptor antibody, so nothing decreased, but PI-1 decreased, and patient rescued. When I me measured IL-6 level of serum, it's not so much increase compared to ARDS or CAR-T-induced uh, cytokine release syndrome, 100 times less than uh, uh, these diseases. So uh, in COVID-19 patient, IL-6 increase is not so high, but serum plasminogen activator inhibitor one is increased in all COVID-19 patients. So we speculate <clears throat> virus or virus product attack to the endothelial cells, vascular endothelial cells, and induce various cytokine and PI-1 and induce cytokine storm. So we, in vitro study, we, we tried in vitro studies with human uh, endothelial cells and stimulate with IL-6, soluble IL-6 receptor because human endothelial cell, <clears throat> vascular endothelial cell not express IL-6. So that the uh, uh, complex uh, we stimulate and I increase of IL-6, IL-8, MCP-1 in human vascular endothelial cells and tocilizumab, anti-IL-6 receptor antibody, in, uh, decrease the levels. 
and by one also increase and decrease. So, 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 so that the, we conclude that cor coronavirus has come to attack human vascular endothelial cells through the right receptor hole and produce IL-6. And <clears throat> IL-6 induce various cytokines as well as plasminogen activator inhibitor one. Uh, and this induce a coagulation and blood and also vascular leakage and induce cytokine storm and very serious uh, COVID-19 disease. And anti tachizumab inhibit IL-6 uh, uh, function, so inhibit by one induction and rescue the people. And this is a <clears throat> milestones of our very basic studies and application into clinical studies. We cloned IL-6 1986, then a cloning of IL-6 receptor 1988 and uh, transcription of uh, uh, NFIL-6 and signal transducer GP130 and the cloning of STAT3 uh, signal transducer, suppressor of cytokine signal, and recently uh, <coughs> regulation of IL-6 production by regulates and ALIT5. And this very basic studies was applied to the clinical trials. Uh, we found the over production of IL-6 in soma, rheumatoid arthritis, Castleman disease, and juvenile idiopathic arthritis. And uh, at applied trial three to treat these patient. And 2005, Castleman disease was approved for the treatment. And 2008, rheumatoid arthritis and SGIA in Japan, and 2009, rheumatoid arthritis in the EU, and 2010 in USA. And now, <clears throat> and then that the rheumatoid arthritis is a, uh, approved more than 100 countries, and now more than a million people are treated with anti allergic receptor antibody toxicism. And recently, giant cell arthritis has approved and Takayas arthritis. And now, CAR T cell induced cytokine release syndrome was, uh, uh, side effect was uh, treated with anti allergic receptor antibody. And now, COVID 19 induced cytokine storm is uh, FDA. In, approved so that uh, many diseases uh, are treated with anti r receptor antibody. So he, very basic studies as applied for the treatment, very, very important uh, diseases. And more than a million of people are treated with this uh, antibody. And this is, this picture was taken 1990s when we uh, cloned IL-6 IL-6 receptor, GP-130, signal transduction, and to completely evaluate uh, uh, signaling, me uh, method, signaling method of IL-6. And, and then we, I moved to clinical field. And, and this is two days and papers in uh, immunology frontier research centers. So that uh, I overviewed 50 years my trials, uh, and my studies on IL-6 from very basic studies to clinical trials. And I already 82 years old. Thank you very much. I'll finish here. Thank you, Dr. Kishimoto, for continuously pursuing new discoveries in the field of biopharmaceutical science and for significantly broadening global knowledge, especially at a time when the pandemic has created so many obstacles. Ladies and gentlemen, 
This concludes the 2020 Tang Prize Laureate Lecture in Biopharmaceutical Science. Thank you all for joining us today. Please stay tuned for the announcement of the 2022 Tang Prize Laureate in Biopharmaceutical Science.